Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. We're back and we're back with Miss Melanie Martinez, the last so far in our discography journey. We've done Crybaby, we've done the deluxe tracks for Crybaby over on Patreon, but we'll hop into a comment about Patreon in a moment. We've also done, what else? K through 12, the movie, full unedited on Patreon, but little snippets here and there are here on YouTube. So check out those. Also Portals reactions here. Port of Portals Deluxe Tracks. Milk of the Siren has been on repeat for me. What else have I done? I've also, on my shorts, I've done a Portals ranking. So if you wanna check that out, please do. So far, we've done a lot. Next up, After School EP, and if y'all are wondering why we jump back and forth, we kind of started with Portals, then went back to the start with Crybaby, and now we're working up. So After School is the last one that we're going to be getting into yet. I think it's seven songs. It's a little EP number, it's a little EP moment. Mentioned on Patreon earlier, make sure you check it out. Thank you, Tim and Linda, for being over there on Patreon. Y'all know I appreciate you, and... Also, there's exclusives. I've just posted an exclusive Patreon only video. Just go check it out. There's a lot over there. There's around 35 videos so far. So go have a look, check out Instagram as well. Make sure you subscribe. And this, this intro is getting really long. Let's just dive into track number one on After School EP. It is titled Numbers. Also, disclaimer, yes, I have heard these. Yes, I've been a Melanie fan since Crybaby. And yes, I may not show it, but I'm obsessed. People may comment saying this is not a reaction, not a review, because I've already heard it. I didn't say it's a first time reaction. I didn't say it's a first time review. I am analyzing, maybe not analyzing, I'm commentating on my likes, dislikes, how I feel about the music. That's what this is. This is a music commentary channel. And this is me sharing my thoughts. I appreciate the comments on it, but don't tell me that it's not something that I didn't claim it to be. I think that's right. Let's just hit play on numbers. <laughs> Guys, track number one isn't numbers. Track number one is Notebook. Numbers is one that always sticks in my mind. That's why I thought of that. And they both begin with N, so of course I'm going to get them mixed up. Let's hit play on it. <laughs> Not the page, not the page turning, not, not that little page turning, Melanie. Write that, write this down, and she's doing the pencil and the eraser to erase the pencil. Love that. And not Melanie coming through with the childish sounds, but the deep meaning. So it's coming into the intimacy, the relationship vibe. Straight away, he doesn't learn from his mistakes. Like Drama Club, I didn't sign up for this, that's what it's given. Also, I don't know if this was intentional because after school EP, it doesn't give a solid... It, it gives... It doesn't give a solid storyline. It doesn't. It, it gives meaning in songs, but with the whole crybaby thing, it doesn't line up per se. I love the little chime in the background. I don't know what it is. It's the little do 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 do. That I love that. You touch your computer more than you've ever touched me, Melanie. Okay, that's what I meant when I said intimacy. Lying next to a friend that occasionally fucks me. Oh, Melanie. Age is not something that if you're not evolved and also knowing now what we've evolved into with portals. Yeah. So guys, next up is test me. Test me. It grew on me, and then I stopped liking it, and now I kind of forget what it sounds like. I just know it's very dreamy, I think, is the best way. I just... yeah. It's very show-and-tell-like. Playful, that's the word. 
That's one thing Melanie always addresses. There's always a religious thing in an album somewhere. She's not, well, not that I know of. She's not too religious. I think it's the whole spirit, uh, spirit thing. Yeah. But this one is speaking to God. I'll be the jester. Lyricism. I don't know what to say about this one. I just don't gravitate towards it anymore. I'm mortal. Is she saying I'm immortal or I'm mortal? Because we know we're immortal. So that tying into the crab everything. Even though at the start I said it doesn't, it does. But it doesn't too directly. It makes small comments. Some songs make comments or lines or sentences or there's some references. But on the most part, I feel like these songs are very distant to Crybaby. But that comment about being mortal. The playfulness in the melody, but also the vocals, the layers, they come together. I'm not to be forgotten, like Crybaby. The whole, the creature, I think it's called now. If it fucks up my head knowing what we have now, and then going back and listening to these, like when I was doing the crybaby reaction, it didn't hit me until afterwards. When I was editing, really, that was 10 years ago. Well, feels like roughly around 10 years ago that I first heard that. And to know where we're at now with the discography, mind blowing, mind blowing. <laughs> The quiet and then the shush and then breathe in my lungs and it gets airy. Like these vocals. This is another one I feel like it's a, it, it kind of... It's not another one, it is one that drags on a bit. The distortion, also I forgot about this and we're getting into the voice again. The voice that was in Lunchbox Friends. The voice that we've heard. This part was the part I liked most. Just because it was different. Give me an A plus. If I'm doing this thing right. It's given teachers pet. Just that line, that, that lyric. No! How have I not put two and two together? Where were those numbers? And end them with the smash. Okay, let's get into the next one, guys. So, guys, Brain and Heart's next. Brain and Heart. When I saw this title, I thought, what the f are we getting into? Especially with this album cover. A headless, yeah. I love the pastel colors in the background. The bubble, not even bubble, it looks like paint or glue or the writing, the font. I love that. I love how, I don't know, it's faded. The background's kind of faded a little and Melanie's tattoos are on. This. I love this. And we're sitting at a little school table, pencil, book. Okay. This cover's probably my favorite from Melanie's projects. This beats master as well on Brain Heart. It's so cohesive with the others. The chimes, it's lullaby like. And Melanie saying, Help me, and then the pause, and then continuing that sentence. Okay. This is one of my top two, three. Top three. This is top three. This is number three. I know what to use. Top two. We'll get to those. I love how sensual it sounds. When a human, y'all know that saying, you gotta use your heart or use your head or whatever that saying is, that's what this is tying into. Push my head into my chest, brain and heart. And that chime in the background is continuous. It's hypnotic. Melody, vocals, 
production. The production is a little bit harder than I want it to be, but it's enticing. It's everything. I just got lost in it. I just got lost in it. I just zoned out. Oh, I just zoned out listening to that one, guys. Just zoned out at the end of that. Oh, I love the production in that song. Numbers, that one I said at the start, that's next. And from what I remember, this one's chaotic, but also longest track on the EP for, well, four minutes, 40 seconds. The others are like two and a half, three minutes at a push. This one, length. It's given nurse's office straight away, straight away. And then beat drop, let's get into, what I say about Brain, Brain and Heart is a lie. Brain and Heart is not top three. This one has, this one's overruled Brain and Heart. Brain and Heart's number four. This is number three. And the top two are staying at top two. I love how that came in. Attitude. It's given attitude. Turn that volume up. Do the egg. She has a thing for eggs, doesn't she? Isn't it an evil that she says, crack your hair like an egg, I want to see the yolk? A big deal out of a little thing. <sighs> the auto-tune's coming in as well. It's given, what's that song on K312? What is that song? The Principal Drama Club. What is that song? Detention, maybe? Detention, I think it is. I think it's detention where we're just a number in society. It is detention because they're doing the dance in front of the jury. Yes. Am I just a number? Push us past our limits. This one, meaning wise and production wise, obsessed. This part, the vocal emotions. Oh, I love the second verse. Let me explore. I'm ready to pop like a ball volcano. Okay, no. Jump over you like a plane, hot lava. Not that little run with the beat. Let's go back. Also, the pop. I love how playful when she says pop. Let's get get into this. No. That beat. Oh, the airiness. The high pitched voice. Stutter. Obsessed. I love the airiness with this one. The vocals. Vocals on point. My heart space and my cranium. Cranium is a part of your brain, isn't it? Referring back to brain and heart. Lyrical genius. I forgot about this part. Slowing it down, switching it up, reverse it and flip it and reverse it. This part, holding this note, Melanie. Listen up, listen up. I stand and I can't. Who is doing it like Melanie? Who is switching it? Who is stepping out of that mold? Who is out of that box doing what they want to do? That's different. We can hear emotion again. Not that it has not always been there, but strain in the voice, just the power. Numbers, guys, numbers was very long winded. Next one, though, is glued. From what I remember, this one's slow. I haven't listened to this EP. Even though it's my favorite artwork, it's the least I've ever. Let me rephrase that. It's the album, the project by Melanie that I've listened to the least. Let's hit play on glued. Oh, it's given fire drill. That's what this one is. No, not fire drill. What is that song? Recess, high school sweethearts, it's given those. Right. The call and response aspect, I love. And the bubbles, is it bubbles? I don't know what it is. The P 
playful sounds in the background are back. Not that they've gone anywhere. Not Melanie saying, I don't want to think of the morbid parts of life no more. Sentimental. It's giving personal. It's... It's something. Fucked up and clueless. Harsh lyrics on a smooth beat. On a smooth melody. On a... So dreamy. It's given love. Lost in love. But it's also given deep and dark. Being stuck in love, going round in circles. It's given the same vibe as Carousel. Same meaning anyway. Why does it make me think of training wheels as well? Melanie, are you... You're, you have me in a trance with this one. I will also say, guys, there's two songs left. And I haven't mentioned my top two yet. What do you think they are? If you know... Numbers is number three, and Brain and Heart is number four. And I've said we've not listened to our first or second favourite. They're coming up. Not this ending, turn it a cappella. This ending, turn it a cappella, turn it up. And clueless. The production stripping down. Punch just for the ending. We stripped it down for maybe four bars, four beats, and now we're back with ten seconds left. I'm saying that line just distant. It sounds so distant. It's very radio-like. Let's get into Field Trip, guys. My second favourite. My second favourite. And this one will be just a sing-song sing-along. Won't have much to say about this one. Or the bakery, frankly, at that one. Just, yeah. Let's go. Three minutes on, guys. Field trip's up next. This one, just favourite. When I first heard this album, I was obsessed with this one. Straight away. This one's the one I go back to most. This and the bakery. But this one... I don't know, it's just one of those songs. It's an earworm, but it's also, I don't know. It leaves me speechless. It's very sassy as well. It's very la di da Oh, that, that melody, that chime sound. I don't know what to say about these songs. Melanie speaking of facts on this one. Is this one the media? Treating her like a puppet? Show and tell? Is this the same concept? I don't know if Field Trip has to do with it, but we need to get into the lyrics. You're not real, just like me. So is this hate? Is this what people say about her? Is this what... Energy. We're just at energy, so it's time tying in with the whole portals thing, but also what I said earlier about Melanie's religious, but she's not she's more of a spirit, sun and moon, astrology girly. That's what I get from her vibe anyway. So we're tying that in. I like melting, I see melting. Melanie spit in bars. Katarina in the Katarina. Katarina in the womb, nine months till she birthed me. So is that Melanie's real name? I don't know if it is or not, but the womb, the nine months, the birth thing. We were getting teasers for portals back. When did this drop? Two years ago. Two years ago, we were getting Melanie. <clears throat> I'll dip on my field trip. I will be lying so lying low, lying solo. Melnick announcing her hiatus through a song. And vocals. It's serving. 
I'm never going to be what you had envisioned. Is that referring to the creature that she's involved into? So many parallels, so many meanings, so direct but not direct at the time. <laughs> and then this bilingual queen. Is she speaking shade? Is that shade about aesthetic being authentic? So some of these girlies aren't authentic, but Melanie is because her aesthetic is what she wants to be. I am shy, but I do speak. Only when I truly need. So I am shy, but I do speak only when I need. Take that one in. All the topics that Melanie covers and the people she's saying it to. She says the things that she needs to say when they reach the ears they're supposed to reach. Let that sink in. I love this animated voice. I love it. I'll dip. The Bakery's next, guys. My favourite song on the CP. Little fun fact, I worked in a bakery when this came out and this was on repeat. It was, I just resonated with it so much because I worked in a bakery and it was just it. And fun fact as well, just to tie in the bakery, the time I started this channel, yes, the time I made this channel was the time I was working there. So if y'all go back to my first, maybe the first three months on this channel, it was when I worked in the bakery and you would hear comments in those videos about me working at night or late shifts or bad routine because of work, because of working multiple jobs. Blame the bakery in those early morning hours, 3 a.m., 1 a.m., 5 p.m., working up until 5 p.m. and then coming home and up at 1 a.m. It was chaotic, but Melanie knew that, so Melanie put this song out there at that time. So let's get into so let's get into a song that resonates most with me on this EP, The Bakery. It's just playful as well, so don't expect much lyrically from me. And if you want a reaction in the video, just let me know. It's the only song on this EP that we got a video for. And Melanie normally does a video for everything. So if you want me to check it out, just let me know. Just that playfulness with pack it, box it, rip it, let it bop it. Again, it's to do with not the industry, but well, yes, the industry, but also, yes, let's just tie it to the industry, but any nine to five job, you're a number. You're here to make some money, pack it, box it, flip it, bop it, do all the things. But where's your thank you? But what do you get from it? it. Yes, it's a shell. Disclaimer, not the baker I was in, just referring to the lyric. No shade, no shade. Flip it, top it. Vocals as well. This one serves vocals. Just for me to raise the dough, play on words. Raise the dough as a bakery, but also raise the dough as a money. She, she's being used for money. Do you hear the screaming in the background? Do you hear, not the screaming, but the strained vocals in the background? I do. And they mean a lot on this track. Not ending it with the la 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 la, as in the repetition, as in the day to day is so repetitive that it's just drowned out with la 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 la. Oh, Melanie, your mind. And also the music video, the flipping upside down of the face. Oh, that was, that was, that was so quick. That song ended so quickly. I'm obsessed. Obsessed with this woman's work, obsessed with this woman's art, sound, vocals, voice, lyrics, meaning, projects, the whole aesthetic. It's so different album to album, but so cohesive. And we love that. This project I'm rating 7, 6.5 out of 10. Marking it down because for me, it's the least listened to, but also because there's only two tracks that really really punch and we just heard one of them two being the field trip and the others forgettable for me 6.5 is still relatively good and it's such a solid project by melanie it's a shame that it's forgettable 
It's such a shame. Let me know your thoughts down below. As I said in the intro, check out Patreon. This full video is going to be over there and it's quite lengthy. I'd recommend checking it out because there's been a few ups and downs throughout this video that y'all didn't see. But on Patreon, they have. Let me know your thoughts. Make sure you subscribe, like the video, do all the things. Check out Instagram as well. My goal is 10K on Instagram this year. Help me out and I'll see you in the next video.